Welcome to my YouTube channel, dear fellow YouTuber, YouTube binge watchers. I will try to talk about very important topic for me because uh, I feel this thing a lot recently. Now I just want to play games, but when I'm starting to play them, it feels like I'm doing some very stupid ass thing and I'm missing out on my life and I should do something important and valuable. But instead I'm just playing games and I'm so stupid and I will die alone. You prepare for some insane grammar mistakes because my English is pretty shitty. For my whole life, I loved video games and everything related to them. And I always knew all the news and I always knew all the games. And now, at the age of 26, I'm still like this. But I cannot enjoy a game by playing by myself. And it's a funny problem if you would think. I want to play video games, but I don't enjoy it. So don't play f***ing video games. No, no, I want it, I want it, but it became harder and harder to enjoy it and invest your time in it. We think that playing video games is waste of time. If you're not a streamer or you're not making money from playing video games, as a lot of YouTubers do, then you're just wasting your time and you will ruin your life and this, an this is an addiction and this is shit. If you have this back thought in your mind that you're wasting your time every time when you're doing something fun, for the rest of your life you will stay unhappy. You are your own enemy if you do not allow yourself to enjoy things that you love. We are getting older, our inner child is still there. Sometimes I think we have to appreciate it and give it what it wants. When you cannot find an hour or two to play some awesome games and get these amazing emotions and feeling, it's not healthy. It's not healthy for your life overall. Uh, video games is just a measure here that you do not let yourself to enjoy let your inner child to do stuff if you will do this and you will actually be in the moment i think that can improve your life it will not only allow you to play games it will allow you to be yourself more not listening to the society that is telling you that you should do this and you should do that to be successful buy a car buy a house and do some shit no just just please just uh mm. Enjoy your life the way how you want it, because we all die. <laughs> Recently I went on a vacation and I was sleeping uh, in a hammock, I was camping uh, on the street for seven days on the city beach. At some point when I felt cold in the morning and it started to rain, I felt this amazing warm feeling when I started to imagine myself playing just on my switch in a warm room under a blanket. I felt this tr thrill as I had when I was a kid, when I only bought a new console or a new game and I was thinking about how I will play in this game. And that thrill was so warm, so beautiful. But I knew deep in my mind that when I will get to this, when I will come back home and when I will actually play, I will still have this stupid ass shitty feeling that I'm wasting my time and I should do something. I have to be successful. This. Some of us, maybe myself included, are tired of consumption. We want to create something instead because consuming for your whole life is not that healthy. And I found a way to play games again and enjoy it. But this is a very hard way. It's uh, recording yourself while playing a game and make uh, videos about it. But when you're doing this, you also expect some results from those videos. And this is already another story and this is stupid. Uh, that's how I played Dead Space on a hard mode on my channel. You can look up on this video. I felt so great when doing that. And I would never play a horror game on a hard difficulty because I am a pussy. If you have the same problem as I do, in terms of enjoying games, then you should try this. Make this process from consumption to creation. You're playing games and you don't enjoy it, just make a video, make a let's play. It will be so, so cool to rewatch how you played and to do, I don't know, edit it in a funny way. This will be a creation process. We all are creators and we have to do something creative to stay sane, you know? And the second advice is to 
restrain yourself from watching YouTube. <laughs> I mean, restrain yourself from binge watching everything and to fill your blur brain. Blur. <laughs> you are consuming so much information, so much media, so much videos, and uh, all that stuff is much more easily consumable for you than playing actual game. In the game, you have to learn, you have to survive. You, it's harder than just look on someone's gameplay. So if you want to return these feelings that you had as a kid, from enjoying stuff. Do basically a dopamine detox. It's like not eating for a long time, then the food that you will eat will be so tasty and it will be just amazing. Big media companies, they are always, they are trying to ease the process of consumption for us by, by creating superhero movies, by creating linear games without any challenge. Just, just press F to pay respect and press X to win. But there are some exceptions, like Dark Souls. I think this is even a miracle that a game like this succeeded in uh, video gaming industry. And it can actually teach us a lot of things about what is happiness and how to achieve it through persistence and hard work and... Mm. Yeah, this is just a rumbling video as you could see and I hope my English is not that shitty. I just want to release more content and yeah, I tried to create a Dark Souls video about philosophical meaning for the real world of the Dark Souls series. But now I just, I didn't have a mood on doing that. I had a mood to just talk about things that are bothering me right now. That's why I made this video. So leave a like and comment down below and I will go and f*** myself.